Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I know I always say this, but today's video is actually not even an exciting video. It is probably gonna be the most important video I do all year. This is gonna be on the Majuri Black Friday sale. If you guys didn't know, this is the biggest sale of the entire year that they have. You don't really wanna screw this up and if you wanna make sure you do it right, make sure you watch the entire video. In this video, we are gonna be going through through three different things. I'm gonna go through tips and tricks on how to shop the Majuri Black Friday sale so you guys do not have any regrets because like I said, this happens once a year so you do not wanna mess up. And then second of all, I'm gonna show you guys my Majuri Black Friday haul because this video is in partnership with Majuri. They've already pre-sent me a lot of the items that I've been eyeing and this actually includes a lot of their new collection and some of the things that they just released for the holidays. So it's actually really, really exciting because this isn't just the things I've been eyeing but also some of the new things that I didn't even know I wanted that I now have. And then lastly, I'm going to go through some of my personal picks because I know I've already come out with four Majuri videos. I have the Majuri must-haves part one, two, three, and now four, which I also released recently because I wanted you guys to have that video before the Black Friday sale. This is gonna be almost like a consolidation of these four lists, so it's gonna be a very condensed version. This video is gonna be extremely important and maybe a little bit long, so I recommend grabbing some popcorn and let's get right into it. The first tip and trick for shopping the Majuri sale is actually something I discovered very recently. I actually went into the Majuri store in downtown Toronto and I haven't actually gone into the store for three years, mostly because of COVID and also because they're such a strong e-commerce company. I've always just looked at the pictures and got their stuff, but this time I actually went into the store to pre-try on a lot of things. And let me tell you, it actually changed a lot of my shopping experience because online the pictures are amazing, but I I think the one thing that I kind of struggled with was kind of like how big the item was gonna look on me. The way it looks, like it's very accurate to the picture, but on your fingers, you just don't know how big it would be. So an example would be, if you guys remember when I first got the Charlotte ring, I almost thought I got the gold vermeil option because I thought it just actually came really big. I actually really enjoy the size and the size has grown on me, but this is definitely the solid gold version. It came a lot bigger than I had actually expected. By going into the store I had walked in it was such a fabulous experience they followed every COVID protocol there was a limit in number of people that can go in you can try everything on and when I say everything I actually mean everything including earrings which is actually quite rare because as we know from like any other store you would not be able to try on earrings because they sanitize everything alcohol wipe all the earrings and stuff you are actually able to also try on their earrings which is actually huge there was actually one pair of earrings I was eyeing on which were some of the black earrings and it didn't take until I tried them on for me to realize that because I have darker hair it would actually cover the earring you won't actually get to see it that way well, I would either have to wear my hair up or if I had dyed my hair a little up here Then you would be able to see the earrings But otherwise I was just very surprised because I was very close to getting them And then I ended up going with something else entirely instead So there were just so many different products that really showed up on myself Differently than I had expected that they would when I was just shopping online Not saying you need to go in but I definitely think it does enhance your experience If you have a Majuri store near you and there are a lot of Majuri stores now, I definitely think you should take advantage of it. Go into the store to try things out before you place your order. Another reason that I actually really liked going into the store is two things. I actually got to see the stats of the people who worked there and they told me their favorite pieces, what they thought sold really well, what was the most popular and stuff like that. So it was just really interesting to see their combination of rings or earrings and also get their input on a lot of the jewelry products that they have. And then in the end also you can see how they style and stack different things within the stores. Another example is I actually have the diamond initial necklace and of course my circular initial necklace and I saw that they put both pendants together which I've never done and I am definitely gonna do that now. It didn't come across my mind to do that and after seeing it I am definitely gonna put those two together. It looks super great. Anyway, you can just grab a lot of knowledge from like how everything looks on you and also of course like grab more inspiration from the people who work there 
and also from the store. The second thing, of course, in terms of how you can also enhance your shopping experience and make sure you find the right products is obviously to watch my other YouTube videos. Like I said, I've already narrowed the list from a lot of their collections down to four parts. So I have part one, two, three, and four. So if you don't live near a store or if it's too inconvenient for you to go or maybe if you're too uncomfortable to go in yet, then you can see how these items are placed on my body and hopefully it'll give you a better idea of how to wear these items because all of the items I try on and you guys can see how it looks on my body. And I also have two other informative videos. So one of them is how to layer your necklaces and the other one is how I stack my rings. So you can also check both of those videos out as well in case you want to see how all the pieces look together. Third way to best shop the Marjorie sale is actually to sign up for my email list because I am going to be sending a actual written guide. So if this video guide, obviously I don't expect you guys to open this video at work or if you're on the go, if you can't hear me talk and stuff. So I am actually coming out with the whole pamphlet of exactly the picture, the price, the material, what I love about the product. And I'm going to compile a short listed amount from the four different videos. So make sure you subscribe to my email list. I have the link down below for you guys to sign up and you will have that guide with the link embedded so you can click on it and directly shop right away with the discount. So the next part of the video, I want to show you guys my Majuri haul. So this is what I got from Majuri and I'm so excited. I got a couple of pieces and they are all very, very, very beautiful. So I'm going to do an unboxing with you guys. So this is actually my first time opening the package. I had already gotten everything beforehand, but when I was in store, I tried everything on and these were the pieces that I had narrowed down from their entire collection and also besides the things I already have. These are my personal haul picks this time around. And once again, it includes a lot of the new stuff that they also got. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Right off the bat, I'm opening the box and I have these two dust bags. If you guys didn't know, I actually use these bags also for other things. Some creative ways I've seen people use it is, you know, like using it for utensils. If you guys are going back to work and want to bring utensils to lunch, I also use it for my own purses. If I have, you know, like sanitizers, other lipsticks, or just other cosmetic items I actually reuse these bags for my own purposes whenever I travel or I put it in my purse I also have it for chargers and stuff like that I really really reuse these bags and I really encourage you to take advantage of them as well because it's honestly extremely clutch I'm gonna go with the first actual box so the first box I have is the Majuri with Sarah Harris collection if you guys are stumbling upon this collection or this video really 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 consider her products and the reason why I say that is because I had already mentioned her chain earrings before and I got them since then people have asked me so many times where I got these earrings I wore them all throughout Europe everyone kept on asking me where I got them but because this is a limited edition earring they did not carry it anymore but it was also in collaboration with Sarah Harris make sure if you are interested in her products right now please do not wait okay because the people that waited for that chain earring it is now gone it is not even available anymore if you're gonna buy it, you should buy it now because it's also on sale. I've never done an unboxing over YouTube. So in case you guys don't know how these packages come, they come in this really beautiful little case and you open it. This one is just a little card to talk about the collaboration. They actually include a dust cloth for you to clean off your earrings. It also comes with a little pouch for you to put your earrings. And you have the product itself. These are the earrings that I got with the Majuri and Sarah Harris collection. So what I love about these earrings, and I knew I had to have them the minute I saw them online, is because when they're linked together like this, it's already absolutely beautiful. But also, it's very versatile and you're almost getting two earrings in one because you can actually remove the bottom part of the earrings and just wear the top part. This is what really, really drew me to these earrings. Just like the chain earring that, like I said, is discontinued, you can also wear it two different ways. You can wear it long and dangly, or you can hook it up. So I really like how every of Sarah Harris's collections is always so versatile and just has different combinations that you can go for. So that was the first product that I had gotten. So time to open the new dust bag. So this is actually the usual dust bag that you would get when it's not a limited edition item. Have the box here. 
Sometimes they also will double stack the products. So if you think that you only got one product, keep going just for sustainability purposes. They will put more items in one box if needed to save on packaging. Make sure you keep on digging because sometimes I was like, oh my God, something didn't come, but it actually did. So the next set of earrings that I got are these pearl big hoops and it looks like this and I absolutely love these earrings because I actually have the miniature version of these, the mini pearl earrings, and I love them so much, but I also wanted a bigger statement. And this is actually the replacement earrings that I got instead of the black ones because like I said, I wanted something not so much in all gold anymore. I have all of these gold hoops, so I wanted a different color, but I didn't realize and didn't even think about how black would look against my dark hair. So this one was perfect because it's white so it very contrasts my hair and you can see it very well so I absolutely love these earrings oh my god I am living for these hoops they're so cute oh my god I love them I just they're so extra I love it <laughs> The next item that I got is the baguette necklace. This is what the baguette necklace looks like. If you had seen my part four Majuri video or my favorites video on the baguette collection, this is the ring that I'm talking about that I actually got that is the baguette. I pretty much said that out of all the rings that I now own from Majuri, this one has shot up and made it to my number one most favorite pick. If someone is gonna rob me, I just, will fight for this one ring. Honestly, I don't have much to live for, so I will fight for this one ring, but this is honestly just my ride or die item. After loving the ring so much, I decided to get the necklace version. Of course, this is also in solid gold. I never will have to take this off, and I just absolutely love all of their diamond collections, including this large diamond necklace, which obviously we're actually gonna go into, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now. The last item that I got are these Pave diamond earrings. They are actually hoop earrings and they're quite dainty. They're not too big. And I think this is gonna be absolutely perfect for just like everyday, very classy occasions because the hoops are just very, very dainty, like I said, and the diamonds are also very dainty. So it's not very in your face, but you still look extremely classy and just expensive. These are the perfect diamond hoops. Whoa. I just feel like these are the perfect little like statement pieces that you can really use to enhance every outfit. If you guys don't watch my TikToks, I literally talk about how a plain outfit is just absolutely transformed when you just add on jewelry. So this is just one of those things that can make you look expensive even if your outfit looks not expensive. The next box that I have open, oh my gosh. Once again, comes with all the things that we talked about. I saw this necklace online and once again needed to have it. And when I tried it on in store, I just absolutely fell in love. You know how obsessed I am with Majuri chains, but this one looks like liquid gold. And I think that's what drew me to it because a lot of the chains that I had obviously look very much like chains and they just sit on top of my skin and everything, which is fine. It makes the gold just look so much shinier and it's like molded into your body or something. I don't know why, it also just like reminds me of like an Egyptian princess. I don't know why. So classy that I really needed to have it. So I got this one just to top it all off. I also got the bracelet version of the exact same chain. If you guys didn't know, a lot of the chains come in both, you know, the bracelet form, the necklace form, and also sometimes the anklet form. So if you are really into a specific type of chain that they make, you can actually get the whole trifecta or sometimes just the duo. The last two items that I got, I actually picked up two more diamond rings for myself because as y'all know, I am nowhere near getting married. This year, all of my friends got diamond rings from their fiancés and since I do not have a fiancé or even a boyfriend for that matter, I am getting myself a diamond ring. Actually, I've been getting myself a lot of diamond rings, but the latest two are these two and the reason why I am so excited to show you these two rings is because these two rings are actually brand smacking new. I am pretty sure, unless if you're like me and spend almost every day on the Majuri website to be like, what else has come out this week or 
whatever. I don't think you would know that these have come out. In case you didn't know, these ones came out and they came out in the solid gold or even the real gold. Both of them just look absolutely gorgeous. The top one here is the caviar ring and the bottom one here, I forgot the name, but it just looks so expensive. Like, look at that. You just have diamonds on this thick band. Okay, this one is just amazing like what it's just so classy and i'm just so excited to wear all of these pieces so these are the finalists after trying on a couple of products these are the rings that i decided to look into i wanted to get these big ones because i saw someone on tiktok with it also i have the smaller versions and i really like it this is the bracelet i really want and these are matching this is the chain and this is the bracelet baguette necklace the diamond hoop earrings and then the harris hoops which I just love this person and her designs, so I'm very excited to try that. Okay, so that was pretty much my Majuri haul, and as promised, I'm gonna go through some of my shortlist items that wasn't on this list. These items here are all very new, but these are my Majuri Black Friday haul items. And now going into my narrow list. So first of all, for earrings, I actually do have a couple. It is so hard for me to narrow it down, but if I were to narrow down two, if you have seen my videos before, you will know that I am more of a solid gold person versus a gold vermeil person. Just because for gold vermeil, you have to take it off every night, which is fine. I'm just more of a low maintenance person. So I like to just keep all of my jewelry on at all times. So I don't have to keep fumbling. And as you can see, I have long nails. So having to put them on and off is just such a nightmare for me. So I do like solid gold products more. Obviously it is reflected in the price, but like I said, it is a little bit more versatile and you don't have to think much about it after you get them. In terms of earrings, my newest picks and my newest roundup are actually two items. So I am wearing them both. The first one are these bold hoops here. So this is what it looks like. If you have seen my Europe vlogs, you will know that I have wore these bold hoops all throughout my entire trip, never taking it off, jumping off boats like all the time into deep into the water snorkeling and they're fine. So this is actually a new rendition of the bold hoops. So I had the solid gold mini bold hoops and these ones served me so well, but I wanted to upgrade to the diamond version. So they came out with the Pave diamond version, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And the other thing is now that, you know, this one has come out much later, I feel like if you are also thinking about the gold version, you might as well just offer the diamond version if diamond interests you at all, because you can actually flip them around and make it look like it's just gold if that's what you want. So you're really getting two earrings in one if diamonds interest you at all I think I would just go for this one and that's why I like to go for them Also since the hoop is so small I have absolutely no trouble sleeping with them and like I said doing all kinds of activities with them They are so sturdy and they never come off and I also love that there's not really a backing so there is more breathability in your ear which if you like i said have seen my previous videos you will know that's actually a huge thing for me because i just don't like it when there's too much pus and stuff like that with that being said though if i had to pick a stud i definitely would invest in some diamond studs if that is something that once again interests you in terms of diamond products the large diamond earrings honestly this is what it looks like i feel like it looks so great just being layered but also just even on its own if you want it is just such a classic classic look honestly you can have these earrings for years and years and years like even if robots are roaming this entire earth these will still be in style like i think both of these earrings you, you just can't go wrong with them like i said the price point obviously is gonna be a little bit higher, but they're just such classic pieces. They're not trendy items. If you want to use this time, the biggest sale of the year, and also before inflation continues to go up, to get them, now would be the time. However, on a more affordable option, if you guys are looking for bigger hoops, more midi hoops, I would definitely either go for the daily hoops or the editor hoops. So the daily hoops are actually used to be called the boyfriend hoops. So if you guys were looking for the boyfriend collection and can't find it, that's why, because they rebranded the whole thing to daily. Even the boyfriend stacker is now the daily stacker. It doesn't really matter unless if you are a hardcore majority fan like I am and you're like, where did the boyfriend collection go? It is just 
because they rebranded. I would definitely go for those two hoops. You obviously have to take them off every night because they are gold vermeil, but they are the perfect classic mid-size hoop earrings. I just, I don't know what else to say about them, but one of them is a little bit thicker. One of them is on the thinner side. So I will leave two pictures or try-ons for you guys to see, but these are honestly the classic earrings that everyone should have in their collection. So moving on to necklaces, I have so many necklace picks. It is so hard to narrow down, but honestly, my top three obviously is going to be the large diamond necklace. And this is what the large diamond necklace looks like. You guys have seen this all over my Instagram, all over TikTok, everything. I almost never take this off now. If you guys didn't know, I always interchange my necklaces after a few months. I've worn this for a couple of months now. It is now the turn of this new guy. I will say that a really great starter piece was my initial one with the circular. And if you want to go a little bit fancy and if you have a very interesting character for your name, I would definitely go for the diamond initial pendant. That one is just, you can't go wrong. I've convinced so many of my friends to get that necklace. My friend Brienne, like her first name starts with a B. It just looks so good on her. Names that start with M, it like looks absolutely amazing. And it just looks so classy. And there's no background. It's just literally the letter itself. You just, you cannot go wrong with that. Or you can just go for a more classic piece like this large diamond piece. So those are the three necklaces that I would definitely start considering. If you want a more introductory one is the initial circular pendant one. These three also are solid gold. And the best part about it is you just literally never have to take it off. One of the things that makes me like this large diamond pendant a little bit more than the other two pieces though, I want to say the chain on the large diamond diamond necklace actually goes on top of the pendant. So you don't have that problem of having to adjust the pendant and the back of the necklace. It is always going to be the diamond in the front. And I also opted this one over the mini one because I'm already very mini. I am 5'1", in case you guys didn't know. So I'm actually very petite and I find that the mini one was a little too mini against my body. I just like to have a flashy look, okay? Like a little bit more flashy look. If it also makes anyone feel better, I did go into store and one of the girls that works there. She also told me the exact same thing. She said she got the mini diamond. She actually returned it to save up for the large diamond. It just looks a little bit more like you can see it when you're a little bit further away. And of course, that's what we want, okay? We don't want no squinting incident. But obviously, if you like an even more dainty one, you can get the mini one. I just really want to have my diamond just flashing everyone, so... In terms of rings, honestly, because my ring collection from Majuri is the largest collection compared to any other accessory from them, obviously I'm gonna have to say the baguette, which is actually fairly new. Like it came out a few months ago. I'm gonna show you what it looks like alone. This is the baguette ring alone and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So I really like that. A good stacker piece is the solid gold stacker here. Some of my other recommendations, I actually really, really do like the Charlotte solid gold version. The reason why I wanted to recommend this one is because this is the ring where every time I post an Instagram story, if I have this ring on, someone asks me where it's from. People are absolutely obsessed with the Charlotte ring. That one is more like a compliment one. The other one I would really get actually is also the chain ring. This one, I mentioned this in a previous video, took me by surprise so much. Online, it really didn't speak much to me at all. Like I think for years I've seen this ring, never, never got intrigued until I saw it on my friend and I was like, no way, that's the freaking chain ring. It looks so good. And another thing is it's actually quite malleable. You don't feel the plinkiness, if that makes sense, of the ring. I've been working out lately. I know who would have thought because I would lift weights I never take off my rings if I'm going to be doing weightlifting I actually have to take off some of the rings this part just really hurts my hand when I hold the weights the only one that really doesn't impact me at all the chain ring because it's so malleable that it's not very thick at all and it really is really really hard to come off that's another ring that really surprised me that I really really like This is the difference between the chains, but this one actually isn't as big as it looks in person. So I really like that. Another crowd favorite I wanna say is actually the Pave diamond ring, which is this one right here. This one is another one where I get so many compliments on. Obviously it's beautiful, I'm just also adding to the fact that other people like it, because obviously I like it, like I'm wearing it. Other people absolutely love them. Similar to the Pave ring, but without the diamonds. 
what that one looks like. These are kind of the rings and a little bit of my feedback. And of course, you are also welcome to see the rest of my collection in the link down below. I have a page on my website that literally details every item that I own from a jury. That's pretty much the ring recommendation. So in terms of other things, in terms of anklets and bracelets, you guys know I'm already gonna say this, but I'm definitely gonna narrow down my bracelet. Obviously, one of them being the boyfriend chain. So this is what the chain looks like. It's this middle one right here. And it's funny because I was so obsessed with this chain. It also comes in a necklace form to the point that I told all of you that if this became an anklet, I would definitely get it. And the minute the anklet was released, I got so many DMs telling me like, Lisa, did you see that the boyfriend anklet has come? It is honestly such a beautiful piece for necklace, anklet, and bracelet. I don't know how they made this chain. It is just styled, like the size, the thickness, like just everything is just, it just has a place in my heart, okay? And then the next item that I actually would highly recommend is actually this bracelet. So this bracelet, I think, especially with these two together, one is super dainty and one is just a little bit more statement-y. I really think that it does make the perfect combination because it doesn't look like you have too, too much on, but at the same time, it doesn't look invisible on your wrist as well. All the beads and it's also solid gold. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. So even with the anklet as well, it doesn't have the bead one, but I would definitely go for the boyfriend friend one probably my pick for anklets and of course at the very end if you have a large majority collection make sure you also check out their jewelry cases you need somewhere safe to store your jewelry and also for travel so make sure you take a look at that one I've mentioned this before but I do have two jewelry cases from Majuri. but my favorite jewelry case is actually this one right here it comes in you know like a section for your rings your earrings and there's even a pouch here for anything you want for here you can also hang up your necklaces and they just dangle down here so it protects the necklace I just really like this case because compared to the other cases they're quite thick but this one is very flat so I just find that it's very easy to stuff in different areas and different types of bags when you're traveling and this also holds a little bit more product as well so ironically it saves space and it holds more products so this one is my pick if you guys are looking for a travel jewelry case anyway so that is pretty much the video for today once again make sure you guys check out the links below all the items that i've mentioned in this video are linked down below you can also click the links to save on the discount for black friday i also have all the details of the sale in the description box down below do not forget to sign up for my email list for the actual written version so if you watch this video but didn't remember to write everything down don't worry i have the written version for you so you can also shop while you're either in the office or in the bath i don't really know but you can also shop it on your phone directly so that being said that is all the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye